Hey all Chris Bassett here, and I'll be showing you a couple of ways to stop your iPhone from making calls by itself. Let's get into it. Under the settings menu, you can come over to display and brightness, and then from here you can turn on the auto lock. I've got mine set to 30 seconds, so it locks after 30 seconds of inactivity. This just reduces the chance for a butt dial. Next, from the settings menu, we're going to adjust the voice control. Under the accessibility tab, you want to go ahead and choose voice control. You can then set up your voice control if you haven't already done so. This allows you to control your iOS device with your voice. For example, saying, call dad. Next, you may consider disabling some of the Bluetooth devices on your system, as these may also have a voice control function. So keep in mind, if you have the voice control function activated, your phone's listening, so it may respond automatically automatically with a voice command prompting it to make a phone call. On the same topic, go ahead and go to touch ID and passcode. Enter your passcode and scroll down to where it says voice dial. You can then turn this option off to disable the voice dialing feature. Something else to take note is further down the list where it says return missed calls. You can turn that off as well because with that feature on, it'll automatically return a missed call if you swipe on the number. Next, make sure your system's up to date. Under the general tab, you can scroll over to where it says system update and then it will automatically check for updates. In the next section, I'll show you how to do a hard reset on your iPhone. Sorry about the video quality, but in quick succession, press volume up, volume down, and then hold the power button down until the phone automatically shuts off. It should take approximately eight seconds, then the phone will restart. This is just a good general practice for most electronics, as shutting them off, turning them back on, usually fixes any bugs. Next, let's get a little more aggressive we're going to do a hard reset on the phone. Here you can choose specifically which function you'd like to reset. In the settings menu, choose general settings, scroll down to where it says transfer or reset iPhone. The couple of options to take note would be the reset all settings and reset network settings. This option is nice because it allows you to reset the settings without deleting things like apps, photos, or contacts. If problems are continuing to persist, the next thing to do would be a factory reset. By choosing erase all content and settings, it does exactly that. I'd recommend saving contacts and photos to the cloud so they're not lost forever. Under the settings menu, tap privacy and security. You can scroll down to where it says lockdown mode. This is an optional and extreme setting for your phone that can help prevent against cyber attacks. You'll most likely not need this, but it is there just in case. And lastly, it couldn't help to contact either your service provider or Apple support. Uh, ask a few questions questions, see if you can get a hold of somebody, and maybe they can help you. Hey, check out another video over here. I've got Amazon links down in the description for discount electronics. Check out those links. No extra cost. You can help support the channel. I really appreciate it. Any other questions or comments, put below. Thanks.